Shark came out with new hair attachments for the flex style. I got them in the mail today. I ordered them ASAP. <laughs> new 0.95 inch auto wrap curlers. So I figured it might be close enough to my beloved Dyson Airwrap 0.8 inch because this is incredible. This size, this length is phenomenal for fine hair or hair that has a hard time holding its curl when using the Dyson Airwrap. Let's try it. Let's see how close it is. And the shark still does not have, I don't know if they ever will, you have to buy or they come together left and right or right and left. Which one is which? Yep, right and left. The set is $29.99. They also have a new round brush. This is what the round brush looks like. It's an actual round brush. That's exciting if you like blowouts, which is kind Kind of the new thing, the hot craze. This was the only barrel, the only size that the shark had. Wait, is this a different color? <gasps> it is a different color, it's darker. Oh, I actually like that. I personally like to use the Shark Flex style if I'm using the, the round barrels, the curling barrels, whatever you wanna call them, with the 90 degree angle because I hold my barrel like so, my barrel's down, my Shark Flex style down instead of holding it straight. I just find that it's easier. I love the 90 degree option. It's just, you know, it gives me that flexibility. Shark right, Dyson left. And these are my natural little waves coming through. <laughs> Okay, Andre is going to time. We're gonna do a minute on each side. And yes, to get the best results, to get long lasting results for fine hair that does not hold a curl very well, you have to hold it for longer. Plus the cool shot. Let's do it. Highest heat setting, second airflow. I'm going to wrap myself. That is tight. See that? It's like falling off. There we go. That looks pretty and bouncy, but you guys saw when I let the hair go, it doesn't hold as tight to the barrel. All right, I'm gonna continue doing this one minute each section, and then 10 seconds with the cool shot. I'm gonna do the highest airflow, see if that holds the hair better to the barrel. Better. I keep forgetting how hot the, uh, the shark is on the highest heat. And yes, the suction is a much better when it's on the highest airflow, which makes sense. It's so loud. <laughs> Let's go with the Dyson. And again, the Dyson is nice because the barrels, the new engineered ones, you just have the nozzle at the top and you switch to whichever direction you need. The original ones, you had the same as a shark. You had a left and a right. Do the same thing, highest airflow, highest heat setting. Andre is going to time it. Tight. Again, the Dyson 0.8 inch versus the Shark 0.95. So. The Dyson will be a little tighter, but I'm hoping the shark will hold on with the Dyson. I hope that makes sense, like throughout the day. And to get the best long last results with either the Dyson or the shark, I always make sure my roots are completely dry. And if anything, just dry my entire head and then mist my ends, like mid to the ends of my hair with a little bit of water mixed in with either your favorite leave-in conditioner or a little bit of oil. I just mix in water and the Pureology, the Color Fanatic spray, just to give a little bit of that memory hold. I find that when my hair is lightly misted before I wrap my hair around and really dry and set the curl, the results, they last a really long time. The Dyson, I believe, is $39. But again, you're getting the two for one, just like you are with the Shark.
No, they're not as tight. I have a feeling they're gonna drop really pretty. Another thing, if it's too hot in the highest heat setting, just go down one or two settings and just hold it for longer. I'm also trying not to overlap the hair. Beautiful bounce. More, more on the shark side. Okay, one thing, shark flex style, hotter. <laughs> it's louder, it's heavier. Dyson Air Wrap, it's quieter, it's not as hot, it doesn't feel as hot on the scalp, and it's a little bit lighter than the Shark. But all in all, very comfortable for each, but I'm very, very, very excited for the smaller barrels. How exciting is that? I think that's what we've been really missing from the Shark, especially if you have fine, thinner, shorter, medium length hair. Like I have medium length hair, my hair is, my hair is not too long. And when I use the original size, my hair pretty much falls out in like an hour to two hours. There's nothing left, there's no body, there's no volume, no wave, it just falls flat. So again, I'm gonna reiter reiterate, if you have fine hair that has a hard time holding a, a curl or a wave with either the Dyson Air Wrap or the Shark, the Dyson Airwrap new 0.8 inch barrel is phenomenal for that. So I'm really hoping the new Shark Flex Style 0.95 inch barrel is going to be great as well. Obviously, the results are not gonna be as tight as the, the Dyson, but we have high hopes, you guys. We have high hopes, right? I'm excited. Let's see the hair before I comb it out. <laughs> let's, do, let's do the Shark side. This one looks so pretty. Mm. And I'm using a comb, a wide tooth comb, because I find that the more I play around with these <laughs> hair stylers, a comb works best to keep the longevity of my style, my hairstyle. Oh, why is that pretty? That is stunning. Let's do the Dyson side. Why is that so satisfying? Ooh, it's bouncy. But both sides look phenomenal. Dyson a little tighter, Shark a little longer and a little more loose. But look at that, that is incredible. I'm so excited for this. This is so pretty. All in all, yay Shark. <laughs> So excited. I don't know if they will come out with something even tighter, like a tighter curl that you'll be able to achieve like the Dyson just because their aerodynamics are slightly different. You can see that there's ridges in the shark barrels versus the Dyson. It's all smooth and even. There's no like ridges sticking out. So I'm not sure if they're thinking of coming out with something smaller, but very excited that we're getting such a beautiful result. Now, hopefully the result will last. Just finished my skincare. Let's see how the shark versus Dyson is doing. I will say, I've been checking, I've been looking, I'm happy. <laughs> All right, before I brush it out, let's see. I literally haven't brushed it out since, <laughs> or combed it out since I last saw you guys. There we go. I think it looks really good really good as anticipated shark fell out a little more a little faster just because the barrel is a little bit bigger than the dyson again let me remind you the shark 
flex style. The new barrels, they're 0 0.95 inch versus Dyson. Airwrap, their also newer barrel is 0 0.8 inch. This is Dyson. This is Shark. I think we look great. Let's just comb it out a little bit. Honestly, not much to say other than Shark. So happy that you all are providing a smaller, thinner barrel for us gals that <laughs> uh, need help in that department. Uh, so you can see a uh, thinner, very small barrel, you're gonna get longer lasting results. It's still going to fall out really nicely versus a wider barrel, a bigger barrel, the curls are not gonna last as long. So I hope you guys like this little one-to-one -one comparison. I don't think you can go wrong either way. So if you have a shark already, definitely check out their 0 0.95 inch. And if you already have the Dyson and are thinking hey, I need help in the department of the barrels, I don't know what to do, check out the 0 0.8 inch. You don't have to hold it as long as I did. Personally, if you want those curls, the waves to last, definitely hold it longer than you think and start with completely dry roots and then lightly mist your, like your mids to the ends. Don't soak your hair, just very lightly mist your hair with water mixed in with a little bit of leave-in conditioner or a little bit of oil, like hair oil. But I'm gonna leave it here. Again, very happy and excited that Shark came out with a smaller barrel. But for now, you guys, thank you for watching, spending time with me, and I'll see the next one very soon.